Guys, so I'm taking a mini lunch break from cooking and cleaning. I have my um, Coke Zero right there. Pizza from our favorite like pub place. And I'm watching this movie called Beautiful Disaster. So I'm pretty sure I read these books. The story seems very similar. Especially like, I don't, I'm not saying this story, like it was ever on Wattpad, but it definitely reminds me like all the Wattpad stories I used to read when I was a teenager. So I feel like I've read this. Um, let me know if you guys have either read the books or watched the movie Beautiful Disaster. I'm going to watch it now. I haven't read any reviews or looked like on Rotten Tomatoes because I like don't want to be um, influenced. So I'm going to watch this, eat my pizza. And then once the movie's over, it's an hour and 30 minutes. I'm going to get back to prepping for the work week. I hope you guys are having a good whatever day it is you're watching this. But for me, it's Sunday. Hi, guys. It is Monday. I don't remember. I know in the last clip I said I was having a chill day. And I think I told you guys I was watching that movie Beautiful Disaster. It definitely reminded me of, like, if you ever read on Wattpad. It definitely reminds me of those stories. Very corny, cheesy. <laughs> um, it was cute. I did look it up after and I saw it did not have... The best ratings but it was cute it was corny i mean it's not like i would watch it again or say it's any of my favorite movies or anything i mean any like it's in the category of my favorite movies but it was okay i wanted to show you guys it is 7 19 i just got home from work oh i wanted to show you guys i ordered this off of amazon i think the brand is called jasno I think that's what it is. Um, not sponsored, of course. Just want to show you. So I think I showed you guys this candle I got. Sorry, it was right here from Costco. As you look, you guys can see how much I've burnt already. Because when you light this, you have to burn it for um three to four hours, so it like burns evenly. And the first time I lit it, I did not read that. But I ordered this like candle set, so. Mind you, I don't know nothing. I know nothing. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know anything about this really. Um, just gonna be honest. Like this is like to put. I know this is to put the candle out or whatever, like the little snuffer. And I think this is like I got. This is why I got it to like trim my wicks because what I realized, like especially with my Bath and Body Works candles, like when the wick is burnt and ashy when that falls off into the candle it changes the smell because you just start smelling the smoky burnt smell and not really the scent of the candle because like the one i use in my bathroom that's what it smells like it doesn't smell like rose water and ivy anymore but i'll show you guys what i mean and i think this is like a wick i, like, I think it's like supposed to help you pick up or dig out your wick i really don't i don't know I wish it, like, it says, okay, box contains one candle snuffer, which is this, and then, yeah, wick dipper. Oh, wick dipper. I don't know how to use that. And then the trimmer, which is why I got it. So, I'm gonna do that. I just wanted to pop on. Happy Monday. I worked 10 hours today. Guys, I wanted to be at work at exactly at 8 o'clock. I didn't get to work till 8.40 because... I was not prepared. I thought I packed my lunch. No, I made my lunch. I didn't put it in a container. Um, I did not. My breakfast, I, like, I made myself a fried egg to eat on my little bagel thins. That took forever. And then the yolk, like, wasn't fully cooked. So, it, like, exploded on my bagel. So, then I just ate the bagel at home. What else happened to me this morning? I was trying to think. Like, oh, my necklace that I went to wear. Let me show y'all one second. Necklace. That is so pretty. That I want to wear with my outfit. See, it would look so it would look so nice. Um, I could not get it hooked. It broke my nails because remember I told you guys my nails are like really weak from always wearing like fake nails and like getting dip on my nails. Well, I don't really even wear fake nails. My nails were long. It's just like from constantly having dipper gel on them and like having them in different shapes. It just did not. My nails are weak. Um, I could not get this thing hooked this morning. And I tried for like 15 minutes. I got it hooked once, but I hooked it too low and it, it was choking me. So I either need to get like a necklace extender for this or something. But I was so upset. So that was taking me forever this morning. And then I was just moving slow because like the last 
day of my period and I'm just like still feeling bloated and icky. So yeah. So I had a rough, I got up at 6.30 and did not get out the house until eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I just love popping these. A little ASM, was it ASMR for you guys? But yeah, um, so what am I about to do? I need to go take a shower. Uh, the dogs, except Willow's, she, Willow's weird. On some nights when Davis works, she won't eat her dinner until he gets home. I don't know why. She used to do that with me too. She's just, Willow does her own thing. Taz already ate, of course, because he scarfs his food down. I'm about to take a shower, and then I need to do some stuff for the business, and then I am going to sleep. I'm literally, I don't even know what I'm going to eat for breakfast tomorrow. I was thinking about just, like, I left the pan there for me in case I want to fry myself an egg in the morning. I'm, like, not feeling that right now. I just drink a protein drink, and I have yogurt, so. Might do that. But I just wanted to pop on. So you guys, happy Monday. And I'm trying to think. Most likely we'll see you guys tomorrow. I think we will. Um, I'm very tired. It's Monday. You know, like Monday is just, I don't know. Mondays, I try to be a Monday person because I'm like, it's a fresh start to the week, but I'm not. I'm, not I, I'm just not a Monday girl. Like, I don't like Mondays. Mondays are usually my latest day of me getting to work because I don't like Mondays. And I move really slow and I don't want to get out of bed. Like, sorry if that was annoying, you guys. It's just, it was entertaining to me. <laughs> but, like, Mondays, I, like, I even woke up at 5. Like, David got up at 5 to go do his, like, three-mile walk he does every morning. And I I was, like, wide awake. I was fully, like, we went to bed at, like, 9.20. <laughs> we went to sleep at 9.20. Like, we got in bed early. We got in bed at, like, 7.30. But, I mean, I was wide awake. And I was, like, nope, not getting up. I'm going to sleep till 6.30. Dave was like, what? I was like, yep. <laughs> I mean, I could have been to work by 6, literally. And I did not get work till 8.40. But alright, guys. I just wanted to come on. I, it is 7.30. I'm going to be done my shower by 8. Work on the business stuff for an hour. Be done that by 9. And then I want to be asleep by 9.30. I will let you guys know tomorrow if that actually worked out. I hope you guys are having a great day. Let me know if you're a Monday person. And if so, leave some tips, tricks that made you a Monday person. Because I don't feel like anybody is naturally a Monday person. And when I say Monday person, I mean like you are excited for Mondays. Because, no. Like, I am a Friday person. I get very, Fridays, I will get to work. That's usually the earliest I get to work because I don't care. I wake up, I'm like, let's go. Let's get this day over with. I stay up super late Fridays. Like, during the work week, I usually try to be asleep by 9.30. But... Sometimes I get insomnia. Um, that's that's another story. But anyway, um, Fridays I like I don't go to bed until David gets home, so I'd be up to like midnight. And then when he gets home, we're, I'm still up, so I'd be up to like one in the morning. And then Saturdays we literally get up between seven. Well, David gets up earlier because he does his like morning walks, so he gets up at like six thirty. But I usually get up at like when he gets back, so I get up at like seven seven thirty, and we go run all our errands. But like Fridays, I just have like this unlimited fountain of energy. I don't know why. But yeah, if you're a Monday person, please leave me some tips and tricks or how you just like I. If you guys watch Ivana, um, here on on YouTube, she's a Monday person, and she says she loves Mondays because it's like a fresh start to the week. And like I tried to have that mindset, but I'm just I'm not there yet you know but yeah so anyway i will catch you guys oh and when i say avana like i think her full like youtube name is Av avana cora she lives in florida i think but i've been watching her for years like years like literally i've been watching her since she moved back from new york if you are an og follower of hers i've been watching her for years but anyway um i I'm about to go do all the things I already told you I was going to do. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have a good whatever it is. Night, morning, day. Whatever. Hi guys. Please excuse my appearance. I was not planning to pick up the camera today. But I'm literally like working on business stuff. And watching um, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Do y'all watch this? And if you do. That's all I can say. Like I literally 
cannot stop laughing. Like, first of all, I'm so happy they brought Mary back because <laughs> Mary could have a show by herself. Just her facial expressions, the noises she makes, the random stuff she says, hilarious. But they are literally crazy on this show. And I was like in such a bad mood today. And guys, I am cracking up. Cracking up. But yeah, I wasn't planning to record anything today. Just not not in the mood. Having like an off day. Feeling like very stressed out. But I just wanted to pop on because I'm feeling a little bit better. Obviously, after watching this, <laughs> I just wanted to know. Do you guys watch Real Housewives of Salt Lake City or any of the Housewives shows? And what is going on? <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, that door goes to. It's a nice tub. I will not be soaking in it though, but there's me. to the room. The only thing I'm confused. Hi guys, I am so sorry. I also have lost like my, I don't know where my tripod is. Um, I went MIA. <laughs> I don't know really why I went to MIA um sorry text message I had to clear it but yesterday was my birthday we just came home from birthday dinner my outfit oh okay let's not show the bra my outfit is really cute okay guys like I have these cute pants on I wish I had a full-length mirror in this house I don't and I had these cute nude flats on that actually started hurting my feet so I had to take them off so I have literal um slippers on that I just <laughs> got at the store but I wanted to come on because I like went in my egg in the middle of this vlog. We went out of town. We went out of town. We went to Pittsburgh. And I don't even think I really recorded much in Pittsburgh. I think after this clip, I will add in, or you may see it before. I'll add in the clip of our Airbnb that we stayed in that was very unique is the word. <laughs> um, it was very unique. That's the word I'll use. And then I think... I may have a few clips of food, probably not. Like we went there for a football game. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, and we were playing my husband's team, which is the which are the Ravens. And so we went to go see the game, and I kind of went MIA. Um, it was just a really busy time, like working, all those things. So I'm gonna piece together this vlog. I just wanted to come in and wrap up. My birthday was yesterday, so I didn't really vlog this week. I was just working, so I could be off on my birthday. And then my birthday, I, my husband took me to breakfast. We, what did I do? I got a tattoo, which I, I wish I could show you guys, but like it's on my back. So I really can't show. 
Um, I got a tattoo done yesterday. I just ate dinner at home because David had to work, unfortunately, that evening. And then I am so sorry that I keep moving this camera around. My arm hurts from where my tattoo is that they keep switching back and forth. Um, I just went out to dinner with my family. We went to this restaurant in D.C. David's coming in the house. Um, but I just wanted to, like, come on, wrap up the vlog, apologize. I did not do well this, like, past week, week and a half. But I just wanted to, like give you guys the update as to why and then piece it together and then we'll start fresh next week um i did we went grocery shopping but i did not actually do a haul unfortunately and it's just been all over the place but we will be back on track for next week all right guys i'll see you in the next vlog hi guys welcome back to my channel i know i think the last clip was like me going out for my birthday dinner lunch i'm back it is tuesday um what was i gonna say Oh, I wanted to show you guys what I ordered myself for my birthday. Like, a gift for myself. So, it was from Ulta. And Ulta, they give, like, for your birthday month, they give you something free. Which is crazy because my sister uses this skincare um, cleanser. I don't know if it's this specific one, but I know she uses a Tula brand. I've used Tula's um, eye, rose gold eye something. And I liked it, but it dried out. My fault, though. But I wanted to try this face wash so when I'm out of my Clinique one because it's so expensive. I don't, I mean, this, I don't even know the price point for this. I'm not even going to lie. But I want to try this next and just see how it works for my skin. So I got that free sample. And me and David are actually going out of town soon. So I want to try, I want to take it as a travel size so I can try it. And then, I think I may have mentioned this before, but if not, I, my favorite thing makeup wise to buy is eyeshadow. I love eyeshadows. Like, I don't care. I have some palettes that I've had for years. I'm not getting rid of them. I spent money on them things. They're beautiful. And if the shadow still works, I'm going to use it. Y'all can say whatever. I, I'm not getting rid of my eyeshadows. And my friend actually sent this to me. So, I don't know if I've ever showed you. I have so many Anastasia eyeshadow palettes. I probably have like 10. I would think at least 10 of them. But they came out with this one. Um the fall romance it says an everyday to night palette with 12 super size shadows and i opened this up and i was like these shadows are big and this because they're super size but like look how beautiful and it's like velvet to the touch look how beautiful this is and the shadows are definitely bigger than my other palettes i wish i had one down here for comparison but these boys are big and just look how sorry my light look how pretty like these are this is my like color palette here i love greens i love browns gold i told y'all i don't know how to do an intro i always put in gold glitter on and like i've become more of a fan of purples i like the way purple looks on me so it's not like one of my favorite colors but i like more purple and the one purple let me see what it's called um divine like it reminds me of the so it's this purple here. It reminds me of the purple in the Jackie Anna you know what you're palette. David, David just took the dog outside. What up, gang? Um, so since I ordered that palette, I also got this free um, Anastasia brow pencil. This is like the first brow pencil I've ever used like, years ago. I love this brow pencil, but it's expensive. But I got it in dark brown, so I think that'll be good for when we go out of town um, next month. To take us like a little travel size and then y'all so i think i mentioned this before but if i haven't like ivana cora here on youtube she's one of my favorite youtubers i've been watching her for years but um she recommended this it's the vanilla musk fragrance oil by nemat i got this like literally last month I used her code for Amazon and, or her link for Amazon and it's empty. <laughs> so I didn't know they sold it at Ulta, but I literally purchased, I saw it at a um, gift card and I purchased three of them. <laughs> I use this every day. Like I roll this on me every day. I love the scent and I, it just, I just spray my perfume on it and it like makes your perfume last longer, like it sticks to it. I, well, I have gone through one of these in a month. One. 
And these things are not cheap. I'm like trying not to say the price because David's right here. Let's let's sign out the price. <laughs> this this woman literally lets all of her makeup go bad and has to throw it all away. So I just laugh. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna throw it away. That's why you're smiling. I don't do that anymore. I don't have multiple foundations anymore. And I purchase drugstore foundations, not the expensive kinds. So anyway, these are like twenty dollars. I use it every day. This is it's like you you said you don't care, right? See, it's not that big of a deal. And if you think about it, this is twenty dollars, but it lasted me thirty days, and I put it on like twice a day. You really don't need to put it on twice a day. Like I still smell it now. What'd you say, David? He's over there making faces, trying to be funny. Uh, but I saw this on Ulta, and I was like, I mean, because like when you use a gift card, you're not re really using your money. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I justified it. So I spent sixty dollars on my hundred dollar gift card. One niece. But that's what I got myself for my birthday gift. And as I said, I, oh, this is what? Why is that what? I'm obsessed. And this fall romance palette, obsessed. And there's this YouTuber. I like just recently discovered her. I cannot remember her name. But she like did a tutorial like multiple days using this palette. So, I like it. I definitely, like there's so many neutral looks you can do. But even this, I'm trying to like not get the light to like reflect too badly for you guys. Oh, maybe I'll just turn my light off real quick, hold on. Okay, see the light makes a difference. But you guys see this twilight color right here? That would be like a nice like neutral look. This color called leather. There's just so many things you can do with this palette, but yeah, I'm turning back, <laughs> turn back on my light real quick. We just got home from Red Robin, if you see the bag in the background. But um, I just wanted to show you guys what I got for my birthday. And I like that they package this in this, because I feel like I've ordered palettes from Ulta and Sephora before, and they've definitely come with the eyeshadow shatter. Like one of my, is it one of like, I'm trying to think what eyeshadow palette it was, but the gold, like the glittery gold in it was smashed to pieces. And literally the reason, wait for me. David, don't go upstairs without me. Can you turn that light? Bye everyone, bye you two, good night. David's ready for bed. So he's like, every night David will leave me down here by myself. And I'm like, can you wait for me? I don't want to, I don't, cause I don't want to turn off all the lights myself. Like David, you didn't even shut down the house. Like you didn't set the alarm. You didn't turn off the outside light. Like, come on David. But anyway, I'm gonna go because David's leaving me. He's turning off all the lights. Yeah, he's leaving me downstairs by myself. What's it's gonna happen? I don't know if someone's gonna bust in. Some monster's gonna come down here? It's a possibility. I should definitely get going upstairs. David, wait for me. Morning, Can you wait for me? Wait, where's your water? Where is it? Oh, can you get my slippers from over there? Like they're on the the sand. Yeah. But yeah, see how short I got? Just taking off my tennis shoes. That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> David, don't be weird. Okay, Trey, you choose. Put this over by the door. Y'all, look at these slippers. If you know me, cheetah print is like the love of my life. I have a cheetah print blanket, cheetah print. Shoes like my one cheetah print, like slip on shoes are ripping on the inside. I'm so sad because I can't find them to replace them. <sighs> but anyway, see, like I feel like everything's gonna trend for me. Like, I love browns, greens, like a lot of neutral, warm colors. What are you looking for? I saw it. Your home is now on stay. You found it. I was thinking about taking this candle upstairs in the room but listen you have to turn it off in three hours because it has to burn for three hours yeah, I love you. okay anyway guys so i just wanted to pop on and say hi um i'm not gonna lie you guys probably won't see me again until this weekend because it's a little chaotic week for me i actually have a funeral to go to on friday and then like we're not really we're not doing anything like i'm just working late so i can um be able to be off friday for the funeral and then Saturday, sorry, I'm like looking. Oh, I knew I saw it. It fell out your pocket. Can you throw your bed down? 
I'm talking. It's right there. The stuff I left it out. But anyway, um, so we're not really, I really probably am not going to pick up the camera. But then Saturday, um, I'm actually going to top golf. Me and Dave are going to top golf with my sister and her boyfriend. I'm probably not going to get them on camera, but I'm going to get like close to me and David doing top golf. And then that will maybe wrap up this vlog. Like I've been really a little sporadic with my filming. So we'll just see how much footage there is. But I, like I'm going in between doing long form vlogs, which like I have like a vlog up that's like an hour or something by now. And then I'm going to try to David, Taz, come here. Taz, hold on one second, guys. Come here, Taz. This is what I do when David leaves me. I get Taz to stay with me. Taz, say hi to the peeps. Say, say hi to the peeps, Taz. You see the people? Do you just say hi to the people? Am I freaking out with the light? I'm sorry. But I get Taz to stay with me when David doesn't, and he does. Taz, are you okay? Did that freak you out? I don't even know if that really got a good glimpse of him. He's right here. You want to say hi to the people, Tazzy? You're like, no. You're like, no. I want to go to bed. But okay. <laughs> I don't think I got really good clips of him. But I will catch up with you guys soon, is what I was trying to get to. Am I long winded? Wait, you want a cookie? You want a cookie? Yeah. Okay. He almost fell on me. Uh, you want a cookie? All right. So I will see you guys soon. All right. Hi guys, welcome back. It's Saturday, last day of this vlog, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, excuse me, I'm tired. Okay, we went grocery shopping. We went to Costco, Giant. Um, I guess we'll do Costco first. So, the normal, whoa, normal bananas for David. Um, also, Costco has these 14 piece beauty sponge set. They have like two different colors. Dang, this box is beat up. I didn't even look at that. But um, they had this like black and grays, or they had, I think it was like pink and purples. Obviously I got the neutral. But it's 14 beauty sponges. And at my Costco it was $9.99. And it comes with a free clear organizer, but the clear organizer looks like it's beat up. But I will check that once I actually open it. Can you get that, please? Also from Costco, so this lotion. This is like the, honestly, the best non-scented lotion ever. It's extremely hydrating. Um, I use this as a regular lotion, and then I'm pretty sure I told David about using it on tattoos because he did not know about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it on the steps. Thanks. It's the best stuff for that. Best stuff for tattoos. And then, guys, oh, I know you can't see me in the frame right now because I'm leaning over. But if you are into fantasy books, I know you've already heard of this book. And I had saw months and months ago that people said there's like an exclusive version of this book at Costco, and I looked in my Costco. What is in my hair? Oh, nothing. And my Costco did not have it. But they finally have the book. I've said I want to read it because the second edition or the second book in the series is coming out soon. By the time you guys seen this, it's already out. But I finally got Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I think her last name. Yeah, Yaros. I have not been reading fantasy. As you know, I've been reading thrillers. Please hold one second. Um, So... If you are into fantasy, I have heard that this is a fan favorite. I guess I'll be the judge of if I actually like it. Supposedly the world building in this book is like very good. And I actually picked up a book by her. Not, I don't think it's fantasy, it's more of a romance um, from Target like a few weeks ago. So I'm excited to add this to my collection. I don't know when I'll actually sit down and read it yet. Because I have a lot of books in my queue. I'm trying to see how many pages this is without accidentally reading on them. Oh, I saw something that said 510. Ooh. I think it's 500, or is that like a sneak peek of something else? Yeah, it's a sneak peek of something else. Someone else's book. 
Um, fourth wing is 400, maybe if I'm, yeah, like 496-ish pages. That's a good, that's a good book. That's a thick book. So, excited to read that. The normal from Costco chicken. I don't, I don't really need to kill this, but if I can get my little cool keeper thing. Oh, there's more stuff in here besides this chicken. I forgot. See? We got spring mix because we're going to have salads for lunch this week. We got the bear chicken nuggets because that's what we're putting in our salads. And then boneless, skinless chicken breasts because I am making a chicken dish for dinner tomorrow. If I can get this, if I can get this close and then I think, hold on guys. Costco, we barely got literally not much. We got this salad dressing, honey balsamic, the Ken Chef Reserve edition, cause for salad. Um, two of those cause they're small. I don't know why this does not come in a big bottle. Chocolate chips, I'm gonna make banana nut chocolate chip muffins. This, I don't know if I'm gonna make them tomorrow or when I'm gonna make them. And then we got cream of mushroom and cream of chicken because that's what I need for my recipe and that's it we did not really need much from the grocery store at all this week because everything we needed for our recipes besides a few things were already here but yeah guys so I will probably I'm not promising but I hope to get some clips of us later at Top Ball. but if not this will be the end of the vlog and I will see you in the next one I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding.